Hey guys, what's up? Sam here, back with another video. Now this is part 2 to the Pure Nexus ROM. If you haven't catch part 1, go ahead and click that link in the description below and go and watch it. Alright, that's how I installed the ROM on my Nexus device. And in this video, we're just going to do a walkthrough of the ROM, all its features and all that stuff. Alright, so without wasting any time, let's jump into it. Alright guys, so I'm back and this is it. This is the Pure Nexus ROM. I pretty much have all my stuff or most of my stuff in all right this is how I typically like it with just one home screen or two and then my swipe left for my Google Now stuff like I said pretty much every day this here is my dash clock widget and let's start from the top here so I have a custom carrier which you can just put your own custom carrier there so instead of T-Mobile you can just put whatever you want I did put it to the center that's how I like my clock and right here, I do have, let me zoom in a bit. This is my battery icon right here. I typically like to have it with a circle and the battery level inside the circle, all right? We do have the little blue theme going on here. Right here, I do have a custom header, which is really dope. And you can check out all those stuff in the settings menu. As you can see, the blue theme going on. Now, this is jump into the pure Nexus settings, all right? There's a lot of customization available for this ROM guys. I love it. So if you love a ROM that has a lot of customization, a lot of features, then Pure Nexus ROM is definitely a ROM to check out. All right, and they're all very neatly labeled. As you can see, the lock screen notification, power menu, everything is under their own separate menu. All right, now in the lock screen section, you pretty much have right here, this is all the stuff you can put on the lock screen. So you can put the clock, the date, and you can actually change the font of the clock right here. All right, it's, it's pretty cool. Very cool. As I said before, guys, this ROM has tons of customization, tons of features. Double tap to sleep anywhere. So if you're on the lock screen, you can double tap anywhere just to put it to sleep, all right? You can also, if your screen is off, long press on the power button to turn on your flashlight. Now this is really cool, really handy, because if you live where I live and the power goes off a lot, then just Reach for that phone, hold the power button down, and boom, you have the light on. Lock screen options. Now this is to make your lock screen a bit more secure. So you can turn this on. For example, me, I have a pin password. So what this does is it really scrambles the layout of the numbers. So it's not really any set particular way. So all you guys that have that crazy girlfriend or that crazy boyfriend just trying to always sneak at your password, try to figure it out to go in, this is a really handy way of trying to prevent that. Next. We have the notification draw. You have quick pull down. So if I swipe like that at the edge, it pulls down the quick settings. If I do the middle, it's just a little toggles right here. So that's pretty cool. Mm, brightness slider. I can slide the brightness up, down, just like that. It's pretty cool. I really love that feature, by the way, guys. Now this is what I did right here, the custom header image. This is really cool and I love custom ROMs that have this feature built in. The images can come from various stuff. It could be like a default image or it can be a nature image, which is that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty, you know, cool looking. Or poly. Those are some of the polygons right there. Nature random and wavy. Now moving on, recent apps. You have the clear all button at the top. Now that is the Nougat way, the Android N way. Or you can have the AOSP version right here. So with that, it's just like right here. Now I think I'm gonna leave it like this because it's kind of cumbersome and pointless to have to scroll all the way to the top just to click the clear all. Moving on, status bar. Now here you can change the battery as I said before. I have mine to the circle with the percentage in the middle. And I actually have it that way in the quick setting panel as well. Status bar icons, double tap to sleep, so you can double tap right there. Show notification count. Now I do like being able to see the notification count at the top of my status bar. This is a really cool one. I don't think I've ever seen it before, but this is show Bluetooth battery status. So if you are someone that uses a Bluetooth headset a lot, it'll actually tell you the percentage of your battery at the top right here at the status bar. So if your headphone doesn't actually tell you on the headphones themselves or have an app that does it, and this is a really cool and handy feature, all right guys? 
navigation bar you can actually double tap the navigation bar to put your phone to sleep that's cool now this is a very very long list of menus that you can have in the power button section this is really cool i typically just have reboot screenshot screen record is pretty cool but i normally use a z recorder these are a bunch of features that you can use with the volume rocker so you can scroll for media control you can use it to turn your screen on you can use it to Move the cursors when you're typing. Display. Expanded desktop. Wake up unplug. Three finger screenshot. This is pretty cool. Wow. Wow. Guys, how dope is that? Three fingers. So, I mean, I guess it's pretty much like some of the Samsung phones. But this is... This is bananas. This, I love this right here. This is... This is legit. This is legit. Like... It's not much easier than that. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah. I just kind of spazzed out. I kind of geeked out a bit right there. But that was insanely dope. Now, that is pretty much it, guys, in terms of all the features that you get on this ROM. Now, one of the things I really wanted to check out was a substratum theme. Now, as I said before, I tried it on the Lineage OS, but it did not work. Now, this ROM actually supports it, so I really want to try it out. I did download one. I'm going to see if it works. Alright, so I need super user permissions to do this. Alright, now, so to root the phone, I'm just going to pretty much flash the super SU and hope that works. Alright, so root definitely worked. It took a while. I had to try to do it twice to verify the root, but it is rooted and yeah. Okay, see now once you're rooted, you're gonna see the super SU right here. So you can manage root permissions. This is pretty good. So as I said, let's go to the substratum. And we should get access. There you go. It granted. Boom. Yeah guys, that was my quick look at the Pure Nexus ROM, the installation, and all the features that it has to offer. It's jam-packed of features and customization, and I really love that about it. If you like this video and want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and smash that like button. As always, my name is Daquan, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Z.